Greetings. Welcome to today's reflection from Christ Church Hollywood. My name is Olu Olanwaje. On one of those nights four weeks ago that I struggled to sleep, um, I came across the hymnal song titled Be Not Afraid. Wow, when I was listening to the daily service, which is a short Christian service broadcast on BBC Radio 4 that also happens to be one of the longest running programs on British radio. Be Not Afraid is a popular Catholic hymn that is included in the hymnals of every Christian denomination, but I had not heard about that song before. It is a song that is sung that is meditated upon, prayed upon when people are facing transition in life. I did a bit of background reading on the history of the songs. It seemed the songwriter Bob Durford wrote the song when he was afraid. In 1972, he was on a Jesuit retreat, preparing to be ordained and grappling with anxiety about his future. The sort of questions that were troubling him then included worries about where will he go after ordination. He was worried about what sort of work will he do as a priest. He was concerned whether he would be good at it. The sort of questions I know we all battle with as we deal with major changes in our lives, as we deal with transitions, as we deal with problems or difficulties in our lives. There could be worries about our health, about loved ones, finance, jobs, travel, plans, big or major major changes in our lives. At the time, Bob was encouraged by a spiritual mentor that perhaps he could relate the situation he faced to what Mary went through. We were told in Luke 1 verse 30 that Mary was greatly troubled when the angel appeared to her and said she she will give birth to the Messiah. The angel's word stuck with Bob Durford. The angel said to Mary, don't be afraid, Mary. God has shown you his grace. That is the genesis of this wonderful song. But it's also inspired by Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, verse 20, when Jesus says, I will be with you always, even unto the end of the world. For some reason, since I've heard the song, I've had this insatiable desire to listen to it again and again. I find myself humming the song morning day and night, to sometimes the displeasure of my family. I've listened to the different versions of this song, from a jazz version by Eric Connick Jr., to versions from Daniel O'Donnell, Kitty Cleveland, and the St. Louis Jesuits. I've listened to the different texts of this memorable song. The first verse of the song inspired by the Bible says, You shall cross the barren desert, for you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words to foreign men, and they will understand. You shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you rest. 
Many Bible verses in many ways reminds us as followers of Christ not to worry. One of my favorites is Luke 14, 27, which says, Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. And the same theme is repeated in the passage Matthew 6, 25 to 34, which I surmise that we should not worry about our life. Because if he cares about the birds in the sky or the flowers in the fields, are we as followers of Christ no more, not more valuable than them? I believe the last verse of that passage is the most important, as it's a timely reassurance that whatever we are going through, God is telling us not to worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow we worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Brothers and sisters, I pray God gives us a peace of mind Assurance that whatever life throws at us, we will not be afraid, but instead we will rejoice and be thankful for God's grace and his mercy over our lives. Amen.